In a wide expanse of space, gravity drew dust and gas together to create the young solar system. The sun formed first from the vast material, with the planets close behind. Although it may look empty, space is filled with gas and dust. Most of the material was hydrogen and helium, but some of it was made up of leftover remnants from the violent deaths of stars. About 4.5 billion years ago, waves of energy traveling through space pressed clouds of such particles closer together, and gravity caused them to collapse, in on themselves and then start to spin. The spin caused the cloud to flatten into a disk like a pancake. In the center, the material clumped together to form a protostar, that would eventually become the Sun. Over tens of millions of years, the temperature and pressure of the material inside increased, jump-starting the fusion of hydrogen, that drives the Sun today. A star the size of our Sun, requires about 50 million years, to mature from the beginning of the collapse to adulthood. The formation of the Sun, didn't take up all of the cloud it was born from. What was left continued to orbit the star, while planets formed from the leftover material. Several billion years from now, the hydrogen inside of the Sun will run out, and the star will swell up into a red giant, with a radius extending to Earth's orbit. The helium at its core will also be consumed. The star will never be hot enough to burn the oxygen and carbon that are left behind, so the sun will fizzle out and become a white dwarf. <laughs>